welcome back guys to Ape Tech Tutorials. Thank you so much for joining us today. And um, today we're going to be revisiting an older game that we had before, which is a goalie game. I got a request from one of you guys to make it where the goalie would automatically block the ball without actually having the user have to move the goalie with the arrows. So I did that for you guys. I posted and shared with the person who asked about this. Um, and I just wanted to show it to the rest of you guys and give you kind of an update on what we did there. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe and like us and uh, let's go ahead and start it with the demo. <laughs> So here is our goalie. Our little hand is our goalie. We have the number of goals that we make. And then our ball here. Before our goal, before we updated these, our goalie would have to be controlled with the arrows on our keyboard. So we would have to do both functionality of moving the mouse, because the ball is moves around with the mouse, and the arrows which is okay if you have two people, it could be a two people player thing kind of thing. But for those of you who are solo players, then the solution is to give the goalie a uh, automatic blocking mechanism. So that's what we did. So let's go ahead and give you guys a quick demo. I also added music to it. And, and as you can see, my hand is over here. I'm not controlling it. I have the other hand on the mouse. And he's supposed to be blocking, but I have a very bad goalie, so. So basically what that's what it does, the hand moves around with the functionality of the mouse, and it has its limits, because I don't want the hand over here, so I've made it so it doesn't go on these hands. I want the hand to be right here on this net area. So let's go ahead and look at that code. Let's go inside and look at it. So I put it in a PowerPoint. So we're gonna start with the stage code here which is very simple. Let me show you guys in the PowerPoint for those of you who have these smaller screens. <clears throat> so basically what we do is when the flag is, is clicked, we do these, uh, we set our variable of goals, goals that were made to zero. Because we want to start at zero. And then forever we play these uh, Bossa Nova uh, music, which is uh, the music that is playing in the background. So that's all we do for the for the stage. We just want this music playing as we're clicking and playing our game. Now, the functionality of the hand is the one that changed. So let me go ahead and show you the functionality of the ball first. The ball itself didn't change. The ball is again doing the same that it used to do. So when the flag is clicked, we set the size of the ball to 75. We set the where we want the ball to be at when the flag itself is clicked. And in forever, in this forever loop, we go, we set the X position wherever my mouse, so wherever this mouse pointer is at, that's where my X position is gonna be, and my Y would always be at this position. And then if, if we click the mouse, then we have, we glide the ball at a random, X between negative 80 to 80 just to make it look like we kicked it and it went right we just kicked it and then the Y is at zero if our if our if our ball is being touched by the goalie then we glide the ball to a random position between between negative 100 to 100 and and the Y will be a negative 133 and this is where it when it touches a ball, it goes back again, back to where it started, but not to exactly X, the same X position. It goes to a random X position, which is the Y stays the same, as you can see here. We want it back to that same Y. We want the X to be a random. And then here is where we check if it actually made it past the goalie. So if the Y position of this ball is negative two, then it's made it past the goalie. 
So we change the goal to one. We increment the goal by one. And we say goal for a second. And then we play this cheer sound. And that's all that this ball does. Now going back to the hand, which is where I added the logic for being able to have the hand uh, uh, move by itself, not be controlled by my, by me, right? So let me show you guys um, what this does. So if we were to take this out, my goalie doesn't quite follow the ball correctly, so I always will be able to make the ball into there. So I'll always be able to make a goal, right? So by adding these other checks in there, it gives it more of a uh, bus it, it will like try to follow that ball more so what I do here is check if this goal goalie is anywhere between here so if the ball if the ball is anywhere between here or here then we want our goalie to be gliding between negative 100, which is somewhere here, to negative 150, which is somewhere somewhere here. So if you if you look at this kind of like a cross, like that, like a fourth segment cross, right? Somewhere here is zero. Zero is like oh, somewhere here, somewhere here, and then. Um, this side is the negative side, and this is the positive side of the X. So basically what I'm checking, if we're on this side, or this one, if we're on this side, I want my goalie to be between here, right? I want it to be gliding between there, so it kind of is trying to block it. If my ball is on this side, I want my goalie to be between here and here somewhere, trying to glide, it's trying to block that ball. And that's how I kind of give it more ability to be able to block the ball because the other way it wasn't blocking the ball at all and obviously there's still a few things that need to be worked out there's a lot of things I need to check for but I think it gives you guys an idea on how to go ahead and do the checks yourself so now I kind of have to take a, the, care of this area here when it's here it kind of glides differently so it leaves more of an open area but yeah basically this is all you guys have to do to make your goalie be uh, automated uh, I would go in there if I were you guys and play around with these values and add more checks so that it's harder to make the goal obviously it's up to you guys if you guys want to go ahead and make a game harder or easier and this is just a little game that I was making from a book and just decided that uh, it'd be good to show you guys the modification that I did based on someone's comment. So yeah, I just um, wanted to show you guys this really quickly. It's a simple update so you can guys grab whatever games you have and now that you're learning more stuff, you can make more upgrades to it and change things. And uh, thank you so much for that one person who provided this comment. Uh, I hope it's helping you uh, to build your own game or whatever it is that you're trying to use this functionality for. And you guys, I check uh, all the comments. I'm learning how to use all this Google comment thing and stuff. So. Um, if you guys have any ideas, comments, concerns, want to learn different things, please let me know. And don't forget to subscribe and like us. And thank you so much for your support. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.